Uh, there is uh, one final issue that I would like uh, to discuss in uh, this uh, course, and that is the issue of the so-called quantization noise. Uh, quantization noise refers uh, to the fact that uh, we in general do have a difference between the original signal and uh, the digital signal that we are representing in our uh, computer. So if uh, we have, for example, this uh, dashed line corresponding to our input signal, and if uh, we are then using a, a, a analog to digital converter with a limited resolution, we will have the difference which is shown down here. So we have this uh, sawtooth-like uh, function which reflects the difference between uh, these uh, two signals. So in this case, uh, the uh, function down here reflects the W, that's the digital value, minus the original value, and this is then, then negative. So in this case, I have assumed that during the conversion from the analog domain to the digital domain, uh, we have uh, been uh, uh, truncating uh, values to zero. That, that means we are returning values uh, that are, in most of the cases, uh, uh, less than uh, the uh, original an analog value, except for those cases where we do have an exact match. So this is uh, the so-called quantization noise, and what we are representing in the computer is a signal that can be explained uh, as, as a signal resulting from uh, adding uh, this uh, signal down here uh, to the uh, original uh, dashed line over there, and uh, as a result we will be obtaining uh, the step function over here. And this is a second example which uh, shows the same situation. We have the same input signal actually, uh, just uh, are showing uh, a larger range of times there. Uh, for uh, this difference, we are using the uh, negated difference. So in this case, uh, we are displaying uh, the uh, expression corresponding to the original uh, signal minus uh, the uh, step signal that we are using in, in the computer there. So again, we see uh, this difference. And uh, what we are using there in the computer uh, uh, sounds as if this uh, blue line had been added to the original red line. And again, I'd like uh, to uh, also uh, provide an audio example there. So in this case, we are using a speech of a German politician. So the fact that this is German doesn't really matter because the content of the speech is not relevant for, for this course. And initially, I'm starting with a, a resolution of uh, 16 bits. And I think it will be obvious that uh, uh, there there is no uh, large uh, distortion, there are no large uh, uh, quantization noise in uh, the audio. Ich habe nichts zu verbergen mit meinem Geburtsnamen und dem Namen meiner damals unverheirateten Mutter. Verband mich, als ich nach Deutschland zurückkehrte, wenig mehr als die Erinnerung an eine nicht ganz leichte Kindheit. Das mag okay, next I uh, will uh, reduce the resolution there. Ich habe nichts zu verbergen mit meinem Geburtsnamen und dem Namen meiner damals unverheirateten Mutter. Verband mich, als ich nach Deutschland zurückkehrte, wenig mehr als die Erinnerung an eine nicht ganz leichte Kindheit. Okay, so it was not very obvious uh, how uh, much poorer uh, this actually sounded. So we will uh, reduce the resolution there now to five bits. Ich habe nichts zu verbergen mit meinem Geburtsnamen und dem Namen meiner damals unverheirateten Mutter. 
verband mich, als ich nach Deutschland zurückkehrte, wenig mehr als die Erinnerung an eine nicht ganz leichte Kindheit. Das okay, so there was a little bit of uh, quantization noise. Now we will go down to three bits. Okay, and finally I will reduce this to a single bit and uh, I think uh, there may be the question would it be possible to understand anything if you were able to understand German and I think uh, the result will be audible from this uh, speech sample. Okay, I think it was uh, very obvious that there was quite some quantization noise uh, that we uh, generated by reducing the resolution to just a single bit. So, um, in this context, there is uh, one interesting uh, definition. We can try to have uh, some uh, way of uh, describing uh, the amount of uh, noise that's available there in, in our signal. And this is feasible with the so-called uh, signal-to-noise ratio. So by uh, computing the signal-of-noise ratio, we are able to, to indicate uh, the relation between uh, the effective signal that we're really interested in and the effective uh, noise signal. And the signal of uh, to noise ratio is typically defined as uh, 20 times the uh, decimal logarithm of uh, uh, this uh, 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 relation between these uh, two signals. Uh, so as a result, if uh, uh, there is a difference by a factor of two between these two signals, uh, then this would uh, correspond uh, to a value of uh, roughly six, and we call this value six uh, decibels. Uh, if uh, we have uh, uh, an n-bit inverter, uh, if we have an n-bit converter, then each uh, bit of this n-bit converter uh, will uh, provide an additional signal-to-noise ratio by uh, about uh, 6 decibels. Uh, so therefore, if we have an n-bit converter, the overall uh, signal-to-noise ratio is uh, uh, 6 times the number of bits, roughly. And then uh, there is a little bit of additional signal-to-noise ratio, which is resulting from uh, the form factor of uh, the signals that we're using there. So, for example, if we have a 16-bit converter, we would have a signal-to-noise ratio of about 98 uh, decibels. And if we had a high-quality uh, digital audio disc that is using a 24-bit converter, uh, we would have uh, 160 decibels if that uh, converter is uh, actually working to, to perfection and really providing the full resolution. If uh, these converters are not really ideal, then some additional uh, quantization noise might be induced as well. So this uh, leads to the summary of uh, today's lecture. In today's lecture, I have uh, started to discuss the components in the hardware in the loop. Uh, I have uh, started uh, with a discussion of the sensors. And then I moved towards a discussion of uh, discretization. We discussed uh, discretization of time and of values. And with respect to discretization of uh, time, I introduced sample and hold circuits. And there I also introduced aliasing and how we can avoid aliasing. And uh, I discussed the criterion that we have to m meet there in order to avoid this aliasing.
And then also uh, I presented uh, two different types of uh, converters uh, that uh, you could use to convert from analog uh, to digital values. And in this context I also introduced uh, the notion of uh, quantization noise. So this uh, concludes uh, today's uh, lecture. Thank you very much for uh, staying until the very end.